So the first thing you need to know is that TV shows come in two different types, serials and episodics. So serials are shows where every episode builds on the previous episode. So there's an advancement in plot, there's an advancement in characters, and things change as time goes on. Whereas episodic shows, episodic shows are the shows that all of us as kids, when we watch TV, we watched these. And episodic shows are shows where there is no advancement in plot. Instead, every episode is a standalone adventure where things happen and there's a resolution to the plot within the episode, but nothing changes from episode to episode. So, if you're in an episode of, I don't know, doesn't matter what it is, Dexter's Laboratory, Ren and Stimpy, Rugrats, Doug, I, I don't know, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, right? No matter what the main characters achieve in an episodic show, maybe they win the lottery, okay? Maybe they get the girl that they've been seeking for the entire series. Um, Whatever happens in an episodic show, it has to be undone by the end, okay? Because that's how they work, because episodic shows, again, you're supposed to be able to just watch them in whatever order, it doesn't matter, so there can't be advancement. So if the character wins the lottery, he has to squander every single dollar he made. I want to say there's a, an episode of Ren and Stimpy just like that, where they win the lottery and then, like, waste all their money. Or if he gets the girl, he has to upset the girl in some way to get back to square one, to reset everything, all the progress he made. So what I want to communicate to you is I think when you see, as a kid, all of the shows we watch, all the cartoons, all the Saturday morning cartoons we watch were episodic. And this, I will wager, has a massive effect on people psychologically. Oh, by the way, we're going to be changing our biome here. Um, now, what I mean by that is that if you see nothing but episodic shows, um, you it creates a couple ideas in your brain. One of them is the idea of permanence, okay? So in episodic shows, obviously, nothing changes as the year goes on, right? Ed, Ed, and Eddie, they're the same age. Uh, if you started watching Ed, Ed, and Eddie when you were eight, and then you saw them until you were 18, in those 10 years, Ed, Ed, and Eddie did not age. They didn't move up grades. I, I guess they don't really go to school in that show. But nothing happened in their life. And it creates this idea that, by the same way, your life is the same way, right? You're going to be kind of an eternal kid. You, you're going to be living the same life, doing the same things that you do now. You're going to be doing that forever. You're going to be the kid ult demographic. This is where the kid ult demographic comes from, where you still have like grown men, quote unquote, or grown men in terms of age numbers still doing childish things, right? Because they really, I, I really think part of it, not all of it, but part of it is the fact that they have this idea of permanence to age and the universe and everything else. But I think the even more pernicious uh, effect of episodic shows on people's psychology is this idea that there's no such thing as advancement. There's no such thing as personal progress. There's no such thing as me overcoming an issue. Because every issue, you know, again, me getting the girl, that is, some, if I do that in an episodic show, it has to be undone. If I, uh, let's say the character has, is on bad terms with their parents, right? If they make up with their parents, by the end of the show, it has to be undone, right? If they accomplish something, if they do anything, it has to be undone. And when you see that nonstop as a kid, every single episode, every single show is going to have some plot, some achievement, some accomplishment, but then some way of it being annulled, and that's all you see, that is going to put in your head this idea that, oh, well, I guess that applies to my life as well. I, ca I can't ever go further than this. Like, the, the struggles that I have in my life, the issues that I have, they're not something that can be overcome. They're something that's just part of my personality, and I'm going to have to deal with for literally the rest of my life. <laughs> so this is, this is what I'm talking about. And I think, um, you know, our, our generation, when I'm saying our generation, I mean like everyone born within like 20 years of me, frankly. Um, I mean, I'm even kids now, but I, I mean, really just people who watch TV, like episodic TV. Uh, and again, this is not entirely because of episodic TV. I think it's really just part of the background radiation of our culture. But it's given us this sense of futility, this sense of, I don't go any further than this. And it also creates a weird idea for what, what even TV and media consumption is about, right? So one thing I've talked about before, right? So on my YouTube channel, 
Uh, I've done many tutorials on technology topics, and one thing that always struck me as weird, I guess, maybe because I stopped watching TV early as a kid, but one thing that always struck me as weird is when people would, I, I would do a tutorial on something, uh, let's say last year, and people would want me to do the same thing over again. It's like, dude, I already did this. Like, the whole reason I did it is I, I'm thinking more in the serial mindset. I'm thinking, okay, I've done this, so if I do something else, it has to build on top of it, it has to be something further, and the whole purpose of getting people to watch it is theoretically so they can achieve it and do something further, right? That's the whole, that's my whole point. I'm not here to just do the same thing over and over again, like a toy monkey, like an episodic TV show, like, I don't know, the Rugrats or something like that. That's not my goal. But, the fact that people ask for that kind of stuff, and of course there are reasons for me to redo stuff, like to, just to be clear, actually I was going to record a video on a script today. Um, but uh, what, I, what I'm getting at is I think a lot of people, they look at their entertainment in terms of doing the same thing over and over again. This is what's comfortable, this is what feels good, so I'm just going to keep doing that over and over again. Weirdly enough, you know, there's this concept... Uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of like a Nietzschean will will to power kind of thing, where like humans, like they or you know, Kaczynski and what's he call it? What's he call it? Uh, power process, right? Um, so you know, the whole idea being that like humans in their natural state, they want to like um, they want to kind of achieve things. They want to set up problems that they can solve, and they go then go on further from that and keep solving and and keep going on, keep you know exerting their influence, exerting their power, and achieving things. And that's the natural state of man. But I think we've been reduced to a kind of a gerbil wheel where we want to do the same things over and over again. When we subscribe uh, to some show or we we I don't know when we watch something. A lot of times we just want to see uh, the same thing over and over again. No progress, no, I don't know, personal change, no anything, okay? Now this is not, mind you, me giving an endorsement of serial TV shows, because frankly, I mean, this is, you know, you look at stuff like Game of Thrones, it's more of a psyop than whatever psyop episodic TV is, but um, this is just me saying I think this has affected everyone in a very, it, it, in I guess it's happened for a reason. Like people make episodic TV shows because they're easy. They're easy to make, just plug and play. But I think the effects that it's had on people uh, in concert with everything else in our society, I think it's pretty bad. And I think it's important to be aware of it. Like if you're doing the same stuff, if you're on a gerbil wheel, consuming the same product, doing the same stuff, wanting the same things that you've already experienced. If you're one of those guys, and this has been me, I will admit this has been me, if I'm playing a video game I used to play 15 years ago, trying to feel the same enjoyment, and I, I just don't feel it. And the reason you don't feel it is because you're not supposed to be doing that. Like, you're supposed to be better than that now. Like, <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> um, so, anyway, that's just some stuff to think about. Um, so, I don't know, tell me what you think, uh, but that's, that's my view, and I think it's not just TV, I think it's a lot of things in our culture, probably other things that aren't coming to my head now, you can say them uh, if you think of them, but uh, once you're aware of it, I think that's a good part of the problem, and you can start thinking about, okay, how can I be better than that? Uh, Alright, that's it. See you next time.